And today we're going to uh, welcome this cutie pie to the, to the, to the platform, Miss Lexi Gold. Hello, dear. How you doing today? Hey, I'm good. good. All right. right. Now, I was turned on to Lexi Gold by AJ, a buddy of mine. He represents a couple of artists as well. And she is in a video. He sent me the link for the video. I said, shit, yeah, she's going to be on my show. <laughs> <laughs> but I said to Dusty, Dusty, hell yeah, get her on the show. So Lexi, once again, everything good with you, darling? Yeah, everything's good. Like, uh, now yeah. me and Dusty got a few questions for you. Uh, now again, you're from Memphis, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, what label are you with? Um, I'm not with a label yet. I'm independent. Right now. Okay. Uh, what's, what is your song called? You, you have a couple of videos out, right? Oh, she has um, a few songs. Yeah, I have a few singles. Um, my latest song I just dropped was uh, called Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer. and Fire, fire. Even the- Hot Like Summer. Hot Like Summer. Hot Like Lonzo. Summer. Okay, my yeah. bad. My bad. My bad. We don't want to get can, can I play a little bit of it? Can I play a little, a little bit of it for our audience? Yeah, go ahead. She, she killed it. She's on Bill. She's uh, doing her thing on Bill Street. Got the microphone there. Loving the vibe. Yeah. And let's see. I love Bill. And it's not coming through there. It's not coming through. We'll play it after. We'll post links below. And also, we put a link to uh, Lexi Gold's music in the chat. So please hit uh, that subscribe button on her channel and check out some of her music because she's dope, Lonzo. She's uh, she's definitely studied the art of hip hop. I, I love lyricism and I, and I respect lyricists. And I got to say, Lexi Gold, you are a, a, a true lyricist. Thank you. Thank she's you. Bring, she's bringing the full package, I see. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. With, with hey, uh, Lexi, I, go ahead. I would love to know about the, you know, Memphis is really popping right now, uh, especially the women. Uh, shout out Slime Aroni. Oh, man, I have a crush on her. Uh, shout out to Shit Gloss Up. Shout out to Kay Carbon. Shout out to Eliza. Um, what, what are your thoughts on, 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 you know, females in hip hop right now, especially the Memphis scene just really popping right now? Um, I just feel like Memphis taking over. Like, you know, it's our time. Like, you know, um, shit, I feel like we go hard. Like, we we hungry, we aggressive, like, and we want it. And you can feel that in the music. And once again, lyricists, all the girls I mentioned, all the females I mentioned are, are straight up lyricists. And, and they, they definitely, um, you know, come from a long line of lyricists and, and music lovers. Who are some of the people, because Memphis has a rich history, you know, we got uh, we got Three Six Mafia, we got Yo Gotti, we got Dolph R.I.P. We have uh, shit, so many artists that came from Memphis. Who are some of the people that you grew up listening to? And R.I.P. Gangsta Boo. Oh man! First off, like you said, um, Gangsta Boo, La Chat, uh, Project Pat. Um, who was it? Uh, of course, Three Six Mafia. Um, who was Yo Gotti, Dolph? Like, yeah, just. Man, I can go on and on, but those are the top uh, people. I, I got a question for you. What was life like growing up in Memphis? Man, um, Memphis is like, I mean, I love Bill Street. You know, everybody goes on Bill Street, you know, hang out. You got the festivities. You got the, uh, you got the hoods, you know, everybody in the hood or whatever like um we used to have block parties um where i'm from walter simmons i was born so, um it was just pretty good like you know it's full of family friends but also you got the bad the negative you know you got the gang bangers you got the violence you know yeah, it's a lot you just gotta be there to know east memphis right yeah i'm from east memphis mm -hmm. okay through music, we hear a lot about North and South, obviously, with, you know, uh, some of the popular rappers there. But we don't hear much about East Memphis. Uh, talk to mm. us about East Memphis. Um, East Memphis, I feel like it's the best side because, like, it's not so um, crazy like the other sides, you know. It's, it's pretty quiet. Like, um, I, I grew up, like, um, in an area, like, by Night Arnold, Memorial, it's a street a popular street that everybody knows of. So um, it was just pretty, it was pretty normal, like pretty cool, laid like, back. Now, <clears throat> I understand you have another job when you're not, uh, when you're not rapping. What's your other career? Um, I'm an exotic dancer. What club you dance at? Um, I dance at Penthouse. At what, what house? 
the penthouse, Houston. Oh, the penthouse. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, you okay. know what? I had a club called the penthouse once about a time. And oh, for real? Yeah, it wasn't a strip club, but it, it became a strip club later on. It became the Boom Boom Room. I would have loved mm-hmm. to have you working with me mm-hmm. back in the day. We'd have had some fun. Um, I got a question for you. Uh, this mm-hmm. is. This is, this is about this, the strip business. Um, I know I ran two clubs. I ran male exotic and I ran female exotic clubs. I ran both of them, okay? Mm-hmm. Do the girls, well, the, in LA, the fellas make more money than the girls. The, girl, the guys make more money in a half hour than the girls make all week. Is it the same way in Memphis? Um, I know you make a lot of money no matter where you go, but I'm just saying for the other ones, that's not so fortunate. In Memphis, I would say the guys that like if you're talking about Houston, then you got women that make a lot of money too. But okay. in Memphis, I would say the guys make more money than than the females. Okay. Do you know why that Interesting. is? Um, um you know what? Um I would say that's that's a damn, that's a good question. <laughs> um because then you know it's making me think because I'm like, damn, it's always been like that, but I never just really thought about why. Um, I would say just like um, it's more out there for men in Memphis. I would say that, okay. like, uh, you know, you got the go getters, you got the drug dealers, you got the doctors, you got lawyers, you got the, um, you know, the architects and everything. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's just more provided for men than Memphis. I mean, than women. Okay. Let me ask you uh, something about the scene out there. I, I know you mentioned in another interview the differences between dancing in Houston as well as versus dancing in Memphis. You mentioned in Memphis it's a little more rowdy. I mean, the club's liable to get shot up, robbed. I mean, can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, can you go a little bit more into that? Um, I mean, I never really just worked in club in Memphis, so... Uh, I just always, you know, been around it though. I, I was a customer, and there's been some times where we have to run out of the club, and um, you know, they shooting in the back or they robbing each other or like I don't been in shootouts. I don't been in fights. Well, not me, but I don't witness some fights and everything like right in front of me. I don't know. Memphis is just like it's like okay, I love my city. Everybody love my city. Like we love Memphis, but as far as like stopping the violence, I don't know if that's gonna be able to be stopped like pretty soon. Like I don't think they That's sad. That's really sad. <laughs> you know, one more one more question about exotic 